Hello, this is Sachin Shah coming to you live from Greenville, South Carolina. Purple out! <laughs> I'm proud to show you this 2004 National Islander model, model 9408. It's built by Country Coach, actually. Some of those folks that don't know, National had bought a Country Coach during mid-2000, and this thing got a uh, Magnum Country Coach chassis. It's like a Country Coach Intrigue. Beautiful full-body paint. The generator slides out here. Windshields are free from any major damage. Looks really good. Chrome wheels look good. It could probably buff out with just uh, full paint. All right. So the purpose of a video is to show you good, bad, and ugly. All right. So let's see. We'll talk, find some ugly stuff. Windows are foggy. If you are not going to camp in Alaska, a uh, cheap trick is you pop a little needle here for the busting window. You can bust it or change the window. Okay. This thing is okay. It's not that bad, but it's foggy up on top. First compartment shows you some of the electronics for a, a chassis side. And you hook a computer up to that little thing too. Wheels are alcohol wheels. A center cap could be put on. They're about 10, 15 bucks at the truck stop. Samsung, big, big tires. They are 11R. I think that's what we call them. Uh, big tires. Uh, they were installed in 2020, about a year ago, okay? It's got a date cut of a 47 of 17, but don't let the date could fool you that's not the day it was built and came right on it we built we put it about a year ago uh let's see got a little d-lamp here if you would call that but it's not it's a solid d-lamp that's a typical thing happened to national and 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 and, uh, and also uh country coach nothing major but just want to point it out a little bit here it's hard to see in the video but it is there okay uh i've got the uh, Let's see, I've got the LP tank compartment open. Take a look at it. We've got some underneath video. It was a North Carolina trading motorhome. Look at this full pull-out tray. I'm gonna put it back in. Locked in place there. We've got all kinds of window covering for that camping in the summertime at the beach. All right, let's see. I'm going to close all this. Look at this full paint. They look good. No uh, scratches or any damage on this basement compartment. If you find some scratch, you'll get it for free, but it look pretty good. Is that That's your electric power cord reel. Yes, indeed. 50 amp. You push button and it goes up. This is your wet bay. Consists of sewer flush. Sandy flush, city water hookup. You got your retract cable is here for that electric. Somebody disconnected this water wheel. It works if you want it. Look at that. If you want to hook it up, you can. All right. Uh, I may have a leak in it in the past. I'm not sure. All right. Let's see. Uh, water pump is very easy to access right there. That's your fresh water tank fill. Um, outside shower. All the good stuff. Again, Samson tires, year old, knee deep trade. It probably got 150 miles since we installed it. Went to Spartanburg Cummins. I'll mention it. We had a major service done at Cummins. Uh, a previous owner uh, had done something to fuel biodiesel, so we cleaned the system out, new fuel injection, uh, sandblasted the fuel tank. It's really good. I mean, it's maintained really good now. It runs excellent. Got a little checking in this brown paint or coffee color paint. You can hardly see it, but it's, it's there. And like I said, this D-lamb or little uh, unevenness is right above this, you know, uh, trim piece. Side mount radiator, by the way, this diesel engine ISL 400, you know, while you walk around, we'll crank it up, let you hear, it's tuned really nice. So it sounds really fine-tuned. It's ISL 400. I love these years, 04, 05, before pre-DAF. Even 07, 08, a couple of years before pre-DAF, they start messing with them, you know, putting some EPS stuff. These are just great motor, okay? It's got only 47,000 miles, so it's barely broke in, okay? 47,000 miles. Look at this green, nice fluid, because Cummins Spartanburg just serviced it. Everything is serviced. This coach is in, I mean, we spend a good bit of money, okay? Uh, Towing capacity, 10,000 pounds. Yep, it's a 10,000 pound Magnum chassis. Man, I love this chassis. By the way, you just did the roof. Roof looks good. It's a solid fiberglass roof. Look at the back cap, beautiful. 
Uh, National Country Coach did a really, really, really good job. Uh, we have extension for the ladder so you can get up easily. Back there, over here, we have a uh, battery disconnect. Filters are very easy to change. There are new filters. We had all everything serviced. Uh, air uh, nozzle hookup, a battery disconnect switch is there. Next compartment, we have a two big bus batteries, one for engine and one for coach. We put them about a year ago too. Over here, we have a Magnum Energy 2000 watt inverter, some circuit breakers, all that good stuff. And by the way, the battery is on a slide out tray, so it can come out easily to change. You could add a couple more if you want, but there's two of them. You could add a couple more if you'd like to. I have not opened this bedroom awning because we got this monocle dynasty sitting right here but it's a nice awning just like the other side i don't know in the video you saw we have a uh, two awnings on a slide on a bedroom i mean a living room and a one i think a couple of them there all right we have an electric awning take a look at this straight body i mean if you call for this little d lamb on the bottom they're not visible from far but it's there i just want to mention that you know those those folks there out there nitpicker like me i like to show you all this stuff you know, it's an 04. It's in excellent condition. So he's going to have a little bump here and there. Uh, I think this door is locked. So those slide-out tray you saw on the other side, they are here accessible. So on this side, the patio side, not having a uh, slide, this door is open up really wide. And then you can open up. Let's see. Check it out. It comes out really, really deep. I call it a back saver. There is your extra... I mean extension. So this would come out just like the other. Huge slide out tray, huge underbelly storage. A very important for those people who want a full time or they want to be gone for a while. Lock in the place. All right. And the look, struts are staying up on its own. Let's see, one more compartment here. Hey, some storage. That is your uh, Carefree of Colorado. I think it's an awning control. Output module for the IntelliTech. That's probably for, oh, by the way, it does have a compartment light. I believe it's got dual fill. I'll have to check on the other side. Electric awning. I think something going on with a manual awning. There are two big, uh, what do you call, uh, wire ties. And maybe fabric is gone or spring, but we'll check into it. But right now, I would say you have no entrance awning. You could probably repair that. All right, let's go inside and show you the inside. Yeah, it does have a dual fill. I wanted to make sure. You can fill up the tank on both sides. Huh? 9402, 9402 is a model number. Yeah. All right, now that we are inside, this boat seat swivel around. They're flex steel, really good shape. Let's see, uh, it has electric recliner. How about that? I mean, it'll come down, it'll, it'll turn all the way. Speaking of a recliner, we have another recliner here. That's a manual, okay? You can keep that or replace it or whatever, but a nice recliner. We got some owner's manual somewhere here. I think it's in one of the compartments. Day and night shades. Speaking of some flaws, we have a foggy window up here on top part of this window. And while we're talking about this thing got 47,000 miles, about 481 hours on a 8,000 watt generator, telescopic tilt, smart steering wheel. We do have a, check it out. Let's see, right here. I'll just turn it on. It's got a Vizio. Uh, smarter TV, I guess I would say, and it's got a Nakamichi little sound bar on the bottom. Uh, well, I think I did, uh, I did something, and uh, input is doing a radio, but it does have a nice TV here. I'll just turn it off right now. All right, I have an old school VCR and a DVD player. Distribution box works. You got an antenna here, amplified antenna on this side. You have an old school CD changer. All that stuff. Hey, I love this little island. It looks like a little, like a Prevo, like a high dollar motorhome. So wood is in great shape. We have a slight discoloration on the bottom from previous water intrusion. We have put brand new carpet here, along with this LVP natural maple 
hardwood floor looks beautiful and it kind of this thing opens up it's got a drawer yeah and this thing jackknife so you can sleep two here uh two in the booth dinette hey look at this nice little wine uh or some kind of needs a bulb there another little counter they got lots of counters Ooh, lots of oh drawers and stuff i don't know what fell something and he's got a little another little drawer that has got a lock on it how about that lots of storage i notice in this coach we have lots and lots of storage storage under here and look at here we got drawer here lots of storage i think the entire top of the slide has cupboards here and you see this accent light in the back beautiful isn't it you can turn that off and you see it in the back see that Booth down it falls down a bed. You have another slide out drawer. Day and night shades in pretty good shape. Corian countertops. Speaking of that, we'll come around here. We have a nice Corian countertops in the kitchen. Oh, it has a little extra island. I like that little, you know, extra cutting board space. There are the all books and records. How about that? It was a trade-in at a camping world in North Carolina. That's where we got it. Lots of floors, three burner gas stove. We are putting a new uh, microwave in it because this one has a, some kind of problem, wouldn't work. Dual ceramic sink, really good shape. Look at this, clean. I've seen many of them in 25 years of RV business. When you see some that's just nasty, just not taken care of, this coach is in really, really good shape. Uh, some storage up on top, side-by-side -side refrigerator, works on LP and electric power. Got a little ice maker, I don't count that here. We got a little slide-out pantry for canned goods or whatever you're gonna use. Oh, this light is off, let's see, galley light. I got a switch off somewhere. Anyway, we have a privacy door that separates bathroom area. By the way, we have a heat pumps and air conditioning on a two roof air there with the heat, air conditioners and heat pumps. And you also have a furnace. Come on in here. We have a nice counter space for uh, one sink. There's another sink in a toilet room right here. I'll show you that. Fantastic fan up on top. It also has electric water heater. So you have a LP and electric two way to heat water. Nice bathtub. Pretty tall, I already stepped in it. It's got a skylight on top. I love this glass, it's in really good shape. Over here, we have a private toilet area. By the way, tile is in really good shape. I have not seen any crack or broken tile. If you find one, you can have it for free. I see our little hair crack by the toilet. <laughs> nice counter space, some cabinet up on top. And now we come in the master bedroom. Let me shut this. So, got a little hole in the wall. I see something. You get that for free. <laughs> it's got a little blemish. So we got a private, privacy French type door. Queen size bed. If you want something bigger, you can use California Queen. It will be about six inches wider. We've got boat side vanity, or what do you call the, the nightstand? Nice lamps. I think there are lights there. Their switch probably was messed up. That's why there's a hole. We can put a nice little plate to cover that up. Over here, we've got a nice counter space with a vanity drawers or chester drawer. What do you call a little laundry hamper? Over here, you have all your electrical breakers. Lots of storage, as I mentioned earlier. Storage, storage, storage everywhere. All right, now we're going in here. While you're here, let me show you. This thing has washer, dryer, hookup, water, and all that. So it doesn't have one, but you can put one on, and it'll go right here. The washer, dryer will go right here if you'd like to put one on. 1500 bucks or 2000 Hey, look, check it out. We have a TV in here. So yeah, washer, dryer in here. You can put one in or just use it as a storage like they are doing it. Also, this 
TV has an extra cable, you can just put it up here. You can just get it out of there and put it up here. Um, let's see what's under the bed. Uh, not a whole lot, but a little bit of storage. Mostly access to your slide out. This will conclude our video on this 2004 National Islander made by Country Coach. The steering wheel says CC because National bought Country Coach out. Beautiful coach, you know, got a few flaws, but I believe we've been in this business 25 years. When we see something nice, it is nice. We don't go to auction, buy those repos. You know, I'm not saying this is a perfect coach, but it's a crank up, ready to go, camp ready. Give us a call, 864-404-0054. That's my number, or our son, 864-376-5600. We take trades. We help you get financing if you have a 700 and above beacon score. Sometimes 650 we can get you financed. We sell warranty, but we never push it. Please subscribe to our channel to look at some of these nice mud homes. This business, it's, it's unprecedented. So, hey, if you're watching this video and it's six months old, more than likely it's already sold. So, give us a call. And uh, thank you for watching our video. Have a blessed day. It's a push of a button. So, push of a button, it goes in and it opens back up.